Hey guys, today I'd like to talk to you about antivirus software. Antivirus software is extremely important today when browsing the web. Let's make sure you have an antivirus software and you know what they do and you know where to get one, whether it be free antivirus or paid antivirus, just to make sure you have one and you know how to use it and where to get them. So let's dive in, check it out, and make sure you're protected online. Antivirus software is really different from what it originally was. Originally, antivirus software simply did what it said. It was the anti-virus. It just removed viruses, scanned and removed a virus from your system. Now, today's antivirus programs have a robust amount of features and do quite a few different things. And that also depends on which software you will get, depending on which features you need or use. And right here, I just have a Wikipedia page of basically just antivirus software that's out there. And I know you're saying, oh, a Wikipedia page. Yeah, no, but it's just, I'm just listing all the software that's out there to give you an idea of like how many antivirus software there is out there. So, and again, when it comes down to deciding and going with antivirus software, my personal opinion is whatever fits you, you know? Um, for instance, you'll be looking for certain features inside of your antivirus, whether or not you want real-time protection, um, whether or not you want free or you want to pay for it, depending on the type of features you're looking for. Um, like for instance, we have Malware Bytes right here, which is the free software, and then also the pro software. We have PandaCloud Antivirus, which is free software, but for PandaCloud to work, you have to be connected to the internet. So that's one pro con there. We also have the other various versions of PandaCloud, and some of these will be working offline, some of them won't, uh, and again, just depends on the features you need for your antivirus. And then we have Trend Micro's Antivirus Program, various features and functions, AVG, Antivirus, Norton, McAfee, and Microsoft Security Essentials. So as far as your antivirus goes, this is a few of the heavy hitters. They vary quite a bit in features, functions, and price, varying from free to $80. So it just depends on what you're looking for in your antivirus. Now, some of the features you'll be looking for is how often the antivirus is updated. If you just got a new virus, then they'll have an updated list of that virus and be able to pull it out. So you want to make sure it's updated. Also, whether or not you need features like firewall inside of your antivirus, uh, web filters, parental controls, things of that nature. And one thing to consider with a robust amount of features is all of those features do require system processes and power. So one of my favorite things about PandaCloud is it does not take up much memory at all. It is very low maintenance, very just hang out there, and it does a scan wherever I want it to. So I manually do scans with PandaCloud. Now, that means I have to stay on top of my own antivirus protection, although it doesn't interfere with any of my other PC activities. I don't have to allow programs to get through it. I don't have to deal with it inside of my browser. Very minuscule, behind the scenes, sit there, do what I want when I want it to do that. Now, that may fit for you, that may not. I suggest for, if you're somebody that doesn't really pay too close attention to their antivirus or isn't necessarily wanting to do that, go with an antivirus that has a really robust amount of features so that you're covered so it's pretty much autopilot for you. So that's a couple things to think about when selecting your antivirus program. And like I said, go with whatever you want as long as it can find the viruses, remove them, and keep you protected for the style that you use. And again, if you're going to research your own antivirus software, get those from maybe download.com or pcmag.com for references because there are also a lot of fake anti-spyware out there or rogue anti-spyware that are simply the opposite of what you're trying to do. They'll actually install spyware and things of that nature. So make sure it's a good referenced program, whichever one you go with. As far as paid antivirus, I might go with Norton or McAfee for a paid antivirus being as those cover quite a few features. Um, it's more of your set it and forget it type policy. As long as you have a antivirus installed, you're using it and make sure it's updated, you'll be good to go. There you go, now you have a robust amount of information about antiviruses and you know which programs to use, where to get them, whether it be free or paid. So further in this lesson, we'll be covering removing viruses and using those antivirus programs to get rid of all the bad software. So. Make sure to stay connected to this course. Like always guys, thanks for watching. All right guys, and just a reminder, this video is one step in the process of elimination to finding out why your PC is running so slow. So if you just stumbled upon this video, you might wanna go to step one. And that'll be in the description of this video. And remember guys, you can send any of your problems to me for viruses, spyware, and PC performance that I haven't covered in this series. 
Just send those to requests at mahalo.com. And remember, only you can prevent spyware viruses and all that bad stuff on the internet.